Hi, I'm Harry from Project Heaven. Um, today we're going to be test driving the electric Porsche 911. Um, the reason I'm doing that, because I'm usually running the paint shop, is because I'm an EV owner, so I can test some of the features and the way it works and check that that's sort of normal and things, um, especially the regen side of things. Um, so we're just going to go road test this now and we'll get to see how it performs. So as I said earlier, I'm used to driving cars to and from the paint shop. Um, but this is unusual because not many people in the business have driven electric cars. And I use one as my daily car. And they're quite an unusual sensation driving. Um, there's lots of features and things that are unusual to driving a petrol or diesel car. So, I'm taking this out today just to go through some of those features. Uh, for example, one of the things is obviously the regen braking. Um, we're trying to strike a balance with this car between using it but also making it feel as a classic car. And one of the other things is I just love 911s. So just take it for a bit of a jolly round. Some of the lanes around here and see if it performs a bit like a, an electric car should really. There's quite a lot of technology involved in getting them to work right and one of the great things about this system is we can adjust those to make the car feel the way that's comfortable for the customer. Go for a little drive in it, see if we can tweak things. One of the key purposes for a test drive today though is to monitor the safety features. Before we haven't really had many safety features turned on the battery system as we've been getting it functioning properly um, but there is a lot of safety features and um, you're dealing with a lot of power um, a lot of expense as well so part of the reason of those safety features is to protect the expense of the components so that's what we're just testing just to see if everything performs the way it should This is a good car. This is very quick. The regen's really nice. It doesn't feel... Okay, so there we go. There's a safety feature uh, kicking in there. So as you may notice, unfortunately, we've encountered a problem. Um, for some reason, the motor stops. You drive a short period like uh, this for example let me just demonstrate this to you drive a short amount and then the motor cuts out um, that's one of the safety features doing its job it's stopping causing damage um, to the engine it seems like maybe there's over voltage or under voltage or whatever and it cuts the motor out protecting the whole system um, so that's what we want it to do really especially if it's in the customer's hand if there's a problem with the battery we want it to be cutting out so that it can be fixed without causing any damage. Um, so that's been good to identify that. We can get the feedback from the gauges, try and understand what's happening. And then we can take it back to the workshop, iron out the issues and then test drive again. Um, but unfortunately it ends our day a bit short today. Obviously, test driving the Porsche the other day, things didn't go quite to plan. Um, we had an issue with cooling the batteries and the safety feature cut in. So, in a way, it was a successful test drive because we're trying to provoke faults so we can find them, address them, and also make sure that the safety features, the cutouts, are working. So, it was successful in that way. But unfortunately, we had to end the test drive early. Um, so we found the issue, basically it was a cooling issue with the battery packs. So these battery packs generate a lot of heat and it needed a way of cooling down uh, in, in a more efficient way. So basically we just added a bigger pump and then we're all good. We've not had any issues since then, so that's really good. We can do some 
proper test mileage now and get out all the issues ironed out. Now, as you may know, I'm the resident uh, Project Heaven EV owner, so it's good for me to test drive this car because I sort of understand a bit about what's going on. And actually, I didn't think it would be a thing buying an EV, but the way you drive an EV is very different. Um, I think it works really well in this car. I mean, I've always loved a 911. I love the profile of them. I think they're a phenomenal looking car. Um, but now with this perfect weight distribution, along with the fact that you've got the instant power and the regenerative braking, it just works. Now, obviously this car uh, designed to be a track car, and I think the EV side of it works really well. Um, let me just tell you why that is if you haven't driven one. I mean, first things first, no gears to worry about. Um, that's a good thing. You got a free left foot, which is ideal for braking if you're a left foot breaker. Also, you've got the regen system of the brake. So the, the way EVs are so efficient these days is when you're slowing down, the motor becomes like a brake that can charge up the batteries. Now that means that, you know, we're all used to engine braking, but the force is a lot stronger in an electric car, like this one here. So when you're turning into an apex on the corners, or if you're, um, you know, trying to hit an apex, your right foot basically becomes like a torque on demand. So you might be braking into that apex, then you release that brake, and then you're back onto the accelerator. Now it's very difficult to get that brake and acceleration motion perfect. But what's really good with an EV is because you've got that natural engine braking, you can also use your right foot or the accelerator as a brake and an accelerator. So you've got two ways to get that perfect apex and accelerate out with all that torque. It just works so well on a track car. So I think in this car, my personal view is this is gonna work very, very well. So I'll be excited to see that if the customer takes it on any truck days. But today we're just concentrating on getting all the safety features working. After that hiccup the other day, we're just looking to try and get some decent mileage, check there's no faults, check that the battery's performing high capacity and low capacity, check that um, all the systems are safety functions are working the way uh, that we expect them to be. And I'm happy to report that everything is phenomenal. We've got a few little minor issues to address. Um, one of them is that if you have a sustained um, power demand, torque demand, so if you're trying to accelerate and leave your foot flat to the floor, after about five or six seconds, the, the battery just cut out. Now we think we know what that's caused by, um, but we just need to figure that out and do some test mileage. I can't really reiterate how complicated it is to put an electric conversion into a car. Now, even manufacturers struggle to do it, it's so complicated. But to get the balance right on this, to get it driving well, to get the acceleration, it's not just about making it work, it's about making it work in a way that's enjoyable, pleasurable to drive, the customer finds it reliable, easy to use. Now, that's a real challenge. Um, but I'm happy to say that we're nearly there. The power is just phenomenal. Some of the things we've got working that we didn't have before, things like the battery temperature, the motor temperature, um, the amps being delivered, all these things are quite important feedback for us, particularly as engineers trying to get everything right working in the car. It's important that the mechanics can see exactly what's going on. Um, so this is really good that now, now nearly all of these functions are working correctly. The other thing to mention about EVs is very often they're road cars. There's not many thoroughbred, raw, track EVs. They just don't really exist unless you build them. What's really good about this is it's a low down bucket seat, proper suspension, proper tires, proper wheels. It's all just coming together, proper pedal box. So when you couple that with that instant torque, 
and that excellent 50-50 weight distribution, this car is just absolutely phenomenal. A real sensation to drive. Now some might argue with electric cars that they're not as enjoyable as their petrol counterpart. And I agree, to some degree, there's not that soundtrack behind you, that engine revving, that noise, and that's part of the exhilaration of driving petrol cars, particularly like this Porsche. However, to me, an electric car really, in this setting, in this kind of setup, is actually really exciting in its own way. So you kind of forget that because you're too immersed in what you're doing, enjoying the acceleration, the instant torque in the corners just puts you back in the seat. The thrill of driving this is really exciting. Oh yes, love it.